Hello everyone, I wanted to show you how we made the La Valse d'Hiver video. If you haven't seen it already, you can now click in the corner, but you can also see it at the end of this video. I got the idea for this video when I was listening to different songs on Epidemic Sound and came across one song which inspired me to make a gloomy autumn to winter transition video. Music often gives me the most inspiration. I did some storyboarding to get my ideas on the paper. And this is not the time to get artsy, I just scribble something that I can understand later when I come back to my notes. Having a storyboard really helps when you're out filming because you know exactly what kind of shots you need. I thought about where I would want to film this and got a suggestion to go to this old graveyard. It had forests but also an opening and obviously the old graves looked really beautiful and added to the mood. I checked it out on Google Maps and we drove there to check it out in real life. Based on the location and my storyboarding, I made some more detailed notes and a script of the video. We had some chats with a very good friend of mine, who once again promised to act and dance in this project. I'm just briefing her on what we're going to do. Next, I needed to think about the outfit that she was going to wear. I looked up some inspiration online, since I knew I wanted something medieval or Game of Thrones vibes. And I went thrifting and found this brown dress which worked as a base. But the outfit looked too bare, so from another thrifting trip I got this baller roll thingy. We also found some cheap belts, I added some jewelry, a cape and a fake fur scarf. Then we needed to go film the first part. I kept checking the weather forecast, since obviously we didn't want to film in the rain, but sunshine wasn't an option either. I was looking for a nice cloudy day. Finally, there was a perfect day, so I packed our stuff and we headed out to the graveyard. And since I had my storyboard and notes, filming didn't take too long and we got everything we needed for the first part. <laughs> home I took my footage and edited the first part. Then we waited around one and a half months for the winter to come. I kept checking the forecast until I saw a potential day. And it was time to film the part two. Everything went smoothly again but the conditions were a bit more demanding since it was quite cold. I kept giving my gloves and beanie for Olga to warm up between the takes. Then it was time to finish the sequence of the edits. As I said, storyboard makes everything easier. Here I used my original plan as a guide when editing, but didn't stick to it 100%. Here you can see some of the storyboard scribbles and the matching shots. I did some color grading, added sound design and lastly I wanted to add a poem written and read by my other good friend. We recorded it and I added it to the video. And here is the final result if you still haven't seen it. Depuis l'horreur de notre existence, nous regrettons le temps qui s'écoule de nos mains, comme l'écho des derniers rires de l'été, emporté par les premiers aquilons d'hiver. Pour moi, c'est pourtant. Ce zéphyr glacial de Sibérie qui, chaque année, fait revivre ton souvenir. Ta douceur, la lueur 
étincelant de tes yeux. Les battements impatients de ton cœur, désireux de tout de bon vivre. Mais aussi la souffrance et la solitude éternelle. C'était ton moment préféré de l'année, qui à présent est le seul dictame offert à mon âme que le monde a si profondément contristé. Now, you might be wondering what happened to Olga's hair. The thing is, I believe that in order to create art, you have to sacrifice. So I forced her to shave her head for dramatic effect. I'm just kidding. The idea of the hair getting short wasn't in the original plan, but Olga wanted to shave her hair around the time of filming, so we made it work in the video by timing it with the season change. She came up with the idea of using the hood when switching from long hair to shaved head. And in the end I think it worked out pretty well. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this was interesting or that you learned something you can use in your future projects. See you in the next one!